Let's see whose words are eaten. I mean, I would prefer not to do- Okay, thank god. <laughs> I was gonna say- I was gonna say nom nom nom. Yeah. It's, it's funny when you- uh, My commentary is like getting really jumbled right now, but- <laughs> when uh, It's funny when you fight him in Galaxy 2 because in this game he's like trying to chase the bunny. But in that game, he's not chasing anything, so he's just kind of wandering around in a circle for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> Mario just likes to disrupt the wildlife. Yeah. I can un understand fighting this boss because, like, he's actively, like, antagonizing, like, innocent creatures. The mole needs to eat. <laughs> I guess. It's still innocent. Yeah. We don't know what the rabbit did because it's stolen his stuff. Maybe. I'm it's pretty sure we have. Okay, what? The rabbit steal power stars. We don't know what this rabbit's well, doing. Well, if he did, he would have rewarded us. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Like, the 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 bunnies were like the ma the real villains all along. Sounds like um, the the giggle pie Yay, from Charlie Odd Parents. <laughs> um, yeah, I think this. Did you play Yay! Yay! Uprisings! Yeah. I guess, now that I, I brought up the whole, like, they're concerned that this gimmick wouldn't work, I feel like them being super, like, not overzealous, but, like, showing it as much as they can throughout the game is probably them just flexing in a sense, like, yeah, we got this to work, you will appreciate it. That's mm. because, uh, yeah, they... Devs have pride. Okay. It's just a matter of making sure your controls don't get messed up. <laughs> yeah. Which it isn't, like I said, it isn't perfect. Sometimes you do do this circle motion for no reason. It has happened a few times that I haven't really... I haven't really made mention of it, but it has happened a few times throughout this playthrough. But it's not anything too bad, usually. But it still... It still happens. I don't know if they fixed it in Galaxy 2, but I guess we'll see. Mm. Um, and so what, what were we saying? Um, I feel like you, were, you guys were saying something. Was I? Well, someone was. Oh, uh, is this where the, um, secret is? Oh, this is- okay, I thought it was the second star. Yeah, this is where you get the- You had to destroy all of them? You, no, you just have to find the, the gold chomp up there. I'll worry about this later, but- Well, yeah. isn't it- you get the gold chomp, like, right away- you get the star right, right away, right? Yeah, I think so. And why not grab it? It's right here. Because I want to do. Never mind. The, I want to. Because I. I want to keep it consistent where we just we do the main stars first. Uh, well, because like, but because like my mindset is like I understand. Well, I understand that, but it's also like, it's not like we're doing like a Luma thing where it takes us to a separate path. Well, you you still have to like replay the stage anyway, so. Yeah, I know, but it's like it's easily something yeah. you could do with just an edit, like where you can just like, cut back. Obviously, we're not I gonna guess do so. that. But... Well, I'm doing well. Yeah, I mean, I probably would do that if I was playing on my own, but or recording, or recording for Caesar, maybe. <laughs> maybe, I mean, I think Xavier's supposed to be doing this game. I don't know Wait, when. Wait, record for Caesar? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Well, we better. Well, I hope so. I don't want my Kingdom Hearts footage to go to waste. <laughs> yeah, we should start doing more C stuff. We keep saying that, but it just never happens. Uh, I mean, you all can do more C well, stuff. Wait, wait, because like, what products do we have about to finish? I, we just have Force Unleashed. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that just that's just never getting done. <laughs> you ever? Did you ever finish? Um, any, wait, is Kingdom Hearts even edited at all? No, I haven't done any of that. Alright, so what do you gotta say? Uh, there we go. Good. That's very helpful. Um, it yeah. is very helpful, actually. Yeah. Uh, well, you'd be, you'd be surprised how many people need, need advice like that. I don't trust this angle. You'd be surprised how many times you need to tell people don't run in a water park. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not bitter at all. Yeah. The thing, I, I don't want to say so mean when I say this, but you basically need to assume that, like, the player base are, like... Children. Yeah, children. yeah, I guess, if you want to be nicer about it. 
Um, so you, you need to... Cry mini Harry, just don't be an asshole. Yeah, well, I'm not trying to be, but I I, I mean, I, you, you need to word things... Assume they have not played a game before, which is true because people are right. born every day. Like... Right, yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. Nintendo does not make games solely for the 30-somethings who played Mario on the NES. <laughs> yeah, so you do need to have, like, hints that would be super obvious to you and me might be help really helpful for someone else. So it is important to have that stuff sometimes. Mind you, it doesn't stop them from having some utterly obtuse level design in certain games, but... Oh well, yeah, I mean, th yeah, I mean, they don't... I think it, it makes sense for that stuff to be more in the layer half, like the latter half oh, of the no, game. I'm not talking about difficulty, I mean obtuse. <laughs> or just like really hard to figure out for no reason. Yeah, like there's some, mm. some games handle it better than others. I think it also just depends on what speci a specific game is trying to be as well. Because there are some games that are just not made for like a more casual audience. Like I wouldn't, I would not tell like a newcomer to a, to video games to play like Dark Souls or Hollow Knight. <laughs> um, off, off topic slightly. Um, uh, Scrappy put right when we were quiet for um uh <laughs> it for the thing. He said, "Harry, I'm gonna need you to add another Tom screw for Mario's arrival right after you mentioned the need to be quiet." <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's one thing I I, I mean this. Oh, you're right about the Daredevil comment. There's one thing that I'm not the biggest fan of. I think Galaxy 2 fixes this, but when you go to a, a galaxy that has a like a comet in it, you're locked to doing that comet until it leaves or you beat it. So if you wanted to go back to do like a different star or like find a secret star or whatever, you just can't. You just have to wait for it to go, which is a little bit annoying. It's not the biggest problem in the world, but it's not the best. I've hated that for years. <laughs> Yeah. It's one of the reasons I prefer Galaxy 2. <laughs> yeah, Galaxy 2 streamlines a lot of things like that. Like, I'm watching you play this game again, I'm like, wow, this is, this is still very good, but Galaxy 2 just added a lot of quality of life improvements. Yeah. Like, if expansion packs were as good as Galaxy 2, I wouldn't mind expansion packs. Yeah? <laughs> I mean, I actually, I don't, I don't hate expansion packs on principle, I just... Oh, jeez. I think I meant... Ah. What I, this I meant it as... As TV Tropes calls them, mission pack sequels. Oh! This is a- Holy hell! Of... Okay. <laughs> this fly in the room is distracting me. Alright, anyways, you were saying, Scrappy? Like, y'all threw me off. Uh, <laughs> Something about expansion expa packs. Expansion packs, yeah. I don't hate expansion packs on principle. I probably was- What I meant yeah. was what- TV tropes called the mission pack sequel. Like, mm. if everyone or just extra levels more than an actual like expansion. I guess. I like if if every sequel I, was. Well, as... Sorry, would it be would exa would an example be something like Iceborne from Monster Hunter World versus, um, maybe like the levels in Sonic the DLC levels in Sonic Unleashed. Hmm. Well, I'm not thinking of. Like I said, I, I call Galaxy 2 an expansion pack, but that's not really true. Well, it's actually true, but... I think I when people... What... Oh, actually, you, fin you finish. What I really meant to say was a mission pack sequel, as TV Tropes calls it. Like, you know, the one that's mm. pretty similar probably reuses assets heavily, but is ultimately its own thing. Like, you know, yep. the Mega Man sequels. Right. Um, yeah, I was going to just say... I. I feel like people discredit how much Galaxy 2 improves and like does its own thing when they just call it an expansion pack because it's so much more than just that. I don't really like it when people just um, call Galaxy 2 an, an expansion... I think I messed up. Yeah. You did. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't like it when people call Galaxy 2 just an expansion of the first game and that's it. It... Like... I don't know, I, I feel like that's just really um, disingenuine, if you will. Because mm. it's basically saying, oh, this could just, this could have just been like, I don't know, 20 pound DLC or something. And it, it just isn't, that's just not what it is at all. Nintendo Circuit 2008. What's DLC? 
<laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Damn it. Good. I think I'm dead. Yeah. It's the too bad I didn't say anything. I like how I did this without even trying earlier. <laughs> At this point, it's gonna make what I said even more justified. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Spin! Yeah, it's a tight. Yeah, it's a time it just right because you only have three spins. So you need to make them count. Uh, there we go. After what was I gonna say? It's like, you know. After lost levels, any sequel that puts in more than ROM hack effort looks good. <laughs> yeah. I... Yeah. The... They do... They said the I... Um, what is it? The reason why... Or at least one of the reasons why... Uh, they... Like, reskin Doki Doki Panic for... Uh, overseas audiences is because... Like, lost levels is too hard. But I feel like the main reason is more so... Um, they wanted, they didn't want the second game to just look like a ROM hack of the first, and they wanted something a bit more different, which I think is a lot, like, makes a lot more sense, because, you know, when, like, we're not, we're no stranger to hard games, like, Castlevania and whatnot, but, um, you know, I, I think the idea of them wanting to make something more different makes more sense. Mm -hmm. But even, even then, it. like... Lost Levels is just kind of bad and n not- Well, it it's kind of hard in, like, the wrong ways. You were about to call it bad. I mean, honestly, honestly, in a lot of ways, I think it is bad, but... <laughs> I like- I mean, I don't disagree, but- I, I, I think it looks better than Mario 1 thought it is. Like, there's more mm -hmm. detail in, like, the textures and whatnot, but... As it comes to being... A platforming Mario game, it kind of falls off the mark. <laughs> like Mario, uh, Super Mario One, uh, like has an expertly designed first level to get new players like acclimated to how Mario's supposed to control. Yeah, I. What was it? Peek lost Perry levels or... is just the lost levels. It's it's a. I'm not going to call it an expansion pack, but it's literally what the Japanese title is. Super Mario Brothers for super players. Yeah, it's um, it's definitely, it's way more of an expansion pack than Galaxy 2 was. I'll, I'll say that much. What was I going to say? Um, I don't think it would have killed the Mario franchise had it been no. given like an 80s international release, but... Oh, no, I think Pingu. 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 Wouldn't have killed the Mario franchise, but it would have probably not done much to help its image at that time. Yeah. Like Mario 2 USA did. Remind, remind me, we didn't get Lost Levels until the All-Stars, right? I think that so. Was well, that Scrappy? What do you call an old man, Penguin? He's like 26. Allegedly. Yeah, I know that's old age by JRPG standards, but still. Yeah. Well done, boo. Yeah, I'm an old veteran. How old are you? 32. <laughs> I'm still a kid. How old are you? 55? Yeah, no, like, JRPG protagonists are usually, usually like 15, 16. I like how the screen hand gets distorted when he goes in the... Ice water. Yeah, that that will damage you after a while. After a while, so be careful. Um, Wait, realism in my Mario game? Yeah, I get. I'll, I'll just show up because there's a coin right here. He, yeah, like that. <laughs> oh, this is another. Heard that voice clip. <laughs> yeah, this is another area that has purple coins later. This was a favorite of mine. This level. That's a good one. Um. Yeah, were you, I f were you done with your uh, thing, or did you have more to say? Oh, okay, Expansion so, packs, rant. Or whatever you so were. I guess. Yeah. I was gonna say, um. Yeah, like. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> wow, he said, like, no. Yeah. Ice Flower is definitely was one that, of my favorites. Was that, was, that path with the, was that Path with the Sling Star supposed to be like a. Uh... Is that where the secret coin? Is that where a secret star is? No, I I know where the secret star is. I think the sling star is just for like extra star bits or something. Um, let's find out. 
I, I associate this thing with my winter break of 2007. It's just yeah. <laughs> I like how the ice and fire flower both have like the same theme. It's just in a different um, like key. Key, I guess. Yeah, something like that. Like this one is higher, and the fire one's lower. I think. Let's go over here, actually. I still don't get why. I, I I still kind of don't get why fire flower is on it. Was on a timer. Because yeah. if you had that, if you could carry that over to every level, Mario would be more busted than he already is. <laughs> like, uh, maybe, Harry... maybe they could have made it so like you just, it, it works like the B uh, B power up where like you lose it by touching water or some specific substance. Uh, like maybe they could have done something similar with the fire flower. So when the game doesn't want you to have it, it forces you into that. So you just lose it. Like maybe that could have worked better. Uh, yeah, like, hub, yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah. I wish you could ground pound those question blocks. Yeah, you would be able to do that if this was, um, like, the new Super Mario Bros. games, pro probably. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess. What was I saying? Something about sequels. <laughs> they have, like, a surprisingly large hitbox. I think it's the actual fire. Yeah. Or a cold They're... flame, if you will. I thought yeah. they were like just ice creatures, like maybe liquid nitrogen. Yeah. Yeah, one but thing I... Liquid. Yeah, one thing I will say about the ice power-up. I think I messed up. Yeah, I need, I need it to be used up here. Um, yeah, one thing to keep in mind with the ice, with, the, with ice Mario in this game, the, your spin move doesn't have any, like, it, it doesn't lift. give you an extra. It, yeah, it doesn't give you any extra lift. Um, I'll just make a demonstration. It just makes you go straight down. There's no extra lift with it, so you're gonna have to rely on your normal jumps. It's too heavy. I think it might gives you more horizontal distance, but I, I don't know. Yeah, I think it gives you a little bit. Let's find out what's boot what's skate on top speed. Oh, never mind. Whee! Whoa! That was cool. <laughs> I like how the skating, uh, like, lingered for a bit on the wooden platforms. I guess it was just, it was really dedicated to keeping the Mario's momentum going. Yeah. I feel like I'm inter interrupting you, Scrappy. Are you still saying something? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, Galf 2 is fine. Like, you know, like, after Lost Levels, nothing comes off as to the, to the expansion pack anymore, it's just... Yeah. Like, I should give Lost Levels a full playthrough someday. Like, oh, good luck with that. I think, honestly, Lost Levels might be the one mainline Mario game that I actively dislike. Because, like, it's, it's just... Like I said, it's just hard in the wrong, in the wrong ways. Billy Willy is looking a lot more different than I remember. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the the uh, chill billies or whatever. Like, chill why they didn't bring back uh, what's his name, Chief Chili? Oh, Chief, yeah. I was, uh, yeah, no I, no, I was making a banjo reference. Oh, I was, I was thinking of the uh, bullies from '64. Uh. Oh, speaking of which, Chili Willy. I think it was Chili Willy and Chili Billy. I think their names were. In. Banjo Tui, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. That's still there's some video game names. Oh, we almost had a hundred coins. I think, I think, and, and, I think Chili, and I think Chili, I think Billy was was Chili C H I L I. Oh, that makes sense because of how that stage. Fire, he's the fire one. <laughs> oh wait, that yeah, this priest flame just feels like those two levels in Banjo Tui. So. Yeah, like what's it called, Hailfire Peaks? Yeah. Yeah, Red did it first. Uh, controller? Yes. Are you okay? <laughs> I don't know what happened there. I sure am glad that we can. I sure, I, yeah. I sure am glad that the Switch can like recreate the nostalgia of fidgety, you no know, finicky Wii motes. <laughs> uh. Really hitting that 2007 nostalgia for me. 
Yeah, Free, free Flame is a cool galaxy because it basically has one ice level, uh, one fire level, which we're doing now, and then the third star is like a mix, which I think is pretty cool. I think Galaxy 2 does it better because both stars in for that game, or like the Freeze Flame equivalent in that game, are both like mixes of like fire and ice as opposed to just the last level. But yeah, it's a cool, cool idea. I, I, I like the idea of having like an uh, fire and ice stage. There's not a lot of games that do that. I I can only think of these two games and Banjo Tooie. I don't know if any uh, other games do that. Pac Man World 2 had a variation. Okay. I've never played this game, so. World 2 is good. From what I understand, World 2 is, um, is good, but when you go to try and 100% it, it's kind of a nightmare. Just like oh, yeah, I know, because you gotta get perfect runs on each level. Yeah. Have fun. Yeah. I do want to play them someday, though. Uh, so, it's yeah, massive Pac Man World 2 has just. It does, excuse me, does a lot of just classic platformer motifs, like, you know, Grass World, Forest World, mm. etc. Um, yeah, two, two leafy worlds. Um, <laughs> Grass world, forest world, ice world, fire world, water world, not the movie, and then spooky world. Yeah. Well, so this is... So. Yeah, this, this is also just a nice little attention to detail. I, I love it in games where you go to a, a, like a really hot place, and you can just see like the, like visually the little like waves of heat or whatever, like you'd see it in real life. I like that little attention to detail. That's cool. Better than like getting shot in an FPS and the screen shakes and turns red like it's smeared in jelly. <laughs> no, I, I like it when, uh, what is it? Uh, oh yeah, I see strawberry jam. <laughs> uh, I think, I, I like it when like Jerry calls the like zombie, zombie mode effect the piss filter. <laughs> Some games have a piss filter the whole time. Yeah, it's not great. It's not great. Can we, this is not really all that, this is not really related, but can we, like, improve the color palettes of movies? Like, like, the last 20 years, they've just either been doing, like, orange-blue contrast with that bluish gray Harry Potter stuff. I would like uh, movies to look more, um, visually cr creative, I guess? I don't know, like, I feel like a lot of movies, like, nowadays are kind of, they look really good, but more so just in the sense of, um, it just looks like another really good like blockbuster film again like it doesn't i feel like i don't know i i kind of want movies to stand out a bit more because they kind of just blend together a lot now at least for me maybe i'm talking out of my ass i don't know now you're talking out of your mouth <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I understand uh, why they made the Fire Flower. Yeah, I like, know you've ever been this. <laughs> I, I understand why they made the Fire Flower like limited because they wanted to make it like a time-based like puzzle challenge. So I, I get that. Um, I don't mind it nearly. I, I don't really mind it too yeah. much, but I get why it like it like you don't. You wish it was like d done differently. See now, there's the lightning flower. No one would care. Right. I was gonna say. I, I, I guess we're talking about movies now. Um, <laughs> yeah. Watching The Phantom Menace back in like 2019, I was like, wow, like movies used to be kind of colorful. <laughs> I mean, that one was, that was like the last Star Wars movie for a while to just be filmed on like, you know, film. So, it doesn't have like, the digital effect of later a, movies. Yeah, I think there's a thing. Yeah, there's stuff back here. Oh. Yeah. People don't usually go back here. Did they use the notes more often in Galaxy 2, or am I crazy? I- they might have? I don't know. Oh god. Yep. Huh. Yeah. Nice little secret. I don't think there's anything- I learned something today. Here. 
Yeah. So, keep learning yeah, stuff this playthrough. <laughs> so I guess if there's any reason why I'm, and I'm speaking with I'm speaking somewhat facetiously here that modern movies all look the same, it might just be down to the fact that a lot of them are filmed digitally. Possibly. Yeah, that probably has a lot to do with it. Like if Beauty and the Beast had been like yep. made circa two thousand one, it probably wouldn't look it. The color palette would probably be brighter. Hmm. Yeah. The live action, I'm talking about the live action one, obviously, but. Oh, yeah, right. that's what I figured. Um, hmm. Yeah, there's just. It's difficult. What am I trying to say? Like, I'm sure there's some practical reason why, like, color palettes hmm. move. <laughs> color palettes in movies are a little more subdued now. Right. Like, Again, they still. They still look good. They but... make it. Are, are taking really good use yeah. of that Unreal Engine. Wait a minute. <laughs> I think what I'm... I think the better thing for me to say is that I'm not necessarily asking them to look good because they already look like really good. But I think I, I guess maybe expressive is the right word I'd I'd be looking for. I don't know. I'm gonna say we're gonna say. Eh. Eh. I don't know. Fire Mario gets burned in fire, what? <laughs> well, I mean, he's I mean, getting... That's that's in, that's in on brand with the 2D games. <laughs> yeah, but Ice Mario... Yeah, but, like, I'm pretty sure Ice Mario can touch ice. Well, He can touch ice water, but he's, this is Fire Mario, not Lava Mario. Yeah. It's, it's not he like he's... Dramatic. Well, I mean, he, it's, not, it's not like you're suddenly gonna be immune to fire, like, just because you throw fireballs. I know, I, I know, I'm just, I'm just being, I'm just being silly. Yeah. Uh, okay, so... Which is on brand. <laughs> I, you know, I took class on filmmaking, but I did oh, not consider myself an expert on... Ah! Okay, I think I can just... Probably just long, you, can, you can probably just long jump, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good oh, enough. That, that works. <laughs> like how Mario was still flashing. <laughs> we can take it, those. Yeah. I asked it's still on fire, though. And now for the yeah, more I, I interesting he, start. He should have come down to the bedroom like with some a trail of smoke. <laughs> yeah, right. Like Luigi just walks in and tosses a bucket of water on him. <laughs> someone he always someone has make one that ready mod. for me. He always has one ready for me. Such a good brother. <laughs> oh god. Oh, uh, oh, cosmic comet. Huh. Okay. What's oh, sure. what's the race here? I don't remember this one at all. Me either, actually. Actually, what no, is I... this one? Oh no, I remember that. Remember this one now. Is <laughs> this is funny? This is like getting a sneak preview of the third level because this um the level design here is going to be based on the the third star because we haven't we haven't actually seen this part yet. Huh. I guess they're letting us do it now because the star is available. I guess so. I I have, again I have no idea how the the comet stars work. They just kind of appear. <laughs> oh, Mario, man. you suck. Okay, I'm not gonna bother with the boost here because there's like no real benefit for this like stage. It's it'll probably hinder you more than anything. You'll probably just run off the edge. They should have kept this in Galaxy too, but add like those tiny cosmic Mario's that chase you around. Oh god. <laughs> Just lovely. Uh okay. Ooh, yeah, pretty stage. It is, yeah. I like the ice textures. Even with the comet filter over it. <laughs> yeah. Ah! Yeah, these jumps at the end can be a bit wonky. Funnily enough, I think that's easier than the uh, actual star. Level because in in the in the actual like third star level you do need to use um, ice Mario for like like some of those platforms are actually lava so forgot he could oh yes cause, oh yes because lava works on on I I works on lava <laughs> yeah I guess that takes me back to the Pac Man World Two discussion mm -hmm. yeah the ice world and the lava world are right next to each other so. Yeah. The developers actually did something pretty fun. They actually had a transition level. Yeah. 
Fighting Cold Kawhi. 